So you have a CSV file full of data and you're ready to bring it into Airtable without creating a mess. That means no duplicate records, the right custom fields are mapped correctly and your linked records are connected and working because there's nothing more frustrating than importing your data only to find broken links, incorrect custom fields, blank lookups, and then wasting your afternoon fixing it by hand. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get set up and automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. If you've ever tried to import a CSV file into Airtable and wound up with broken links, incorrect custom fields, or missing data, then this video is for you. Today, we're looking at three possible ways that you can import your CSV files into Airtable, each with its own strengths, but depending on what you're importing and how often will determine which method you should choose. So keep watching. Not wasting any time, let's jump in and get you confident so that next time you need to import CSV files, you know how to do so cleanly. So I've got a spreadsheet here where we're tracking our leads for a June campaign. Pretty straightforward and simple. Now I've downloaded this as a CSV file and now I want to bring it into my Airtable app and particularly my leads table or my leads base. Now, perhaps you're creating a new Airtable app and you've exported your data as a CSV file from SmartSuite, Notion, Monday.com, and you just want to bring that into a brand new table. Well, that's super simple, really straightforward. If we just create a new app, we'll notice that Omni here straight away prompts us to either bring in our Google Sheet, Excel, or CSV. And anytime you create a new table, you'll also have that option to bring in your data to create. It's just a simple process of uploading the file from your laptop, computer, whatever it might be, and then telling Airtable to go, go, go. But we want to look at bringing your CSV file into an existing base. In order to import your data, all you need to do is select the drop down menu and then select the import data CSV. We will notice again, we do have the option to select Google Sheets or Excel. But we'll select CSV file then what we're gonna do is we're going to select the leads CSV file that we brought through, upload that, and then that'll just load. Once loaded, it will automatically detect the column names and map those over to the existing fields that we have in Airtable. As we can see here, lead name, company, call date, we're missing some values there. We'll also notice that we've got the linked record missing. Here we can see that means that the roll up and look up fields are missing as well. So if we import that, unfortunately that data just simply won't come through. And that's one of the fallbacks of the standard import SV file method. You can't actually import linked records and you'll also find that some issues occur with your custom fields. And that's when we look at using the CSV file extension. That's right, with the CSV file extension, Airtable will actually recognize linked look up and roll up fields so that you don't have to manually jump in after importing all of your data and manually set that by hand. So just taking a quick look, we can see that all of those records have been brought through, but we'll notice that some of the data is missing and we'll notice specifically that our link records simply weren't brought through. Our follow up date, well, that just wasn't recognized. The next activity date, open tasks, and so on and so forth. Now the CSV file import is a great feature for Airtable. However, if you are bringing in complex, large data sets, well, you will find there will be some issues. This of course differs if you're creating a new base from your CSV file, well, you shouldn't expect many issues there. If you're using Airtable, then the Airtable extensions marketplace is something that you really should know about. I've left a link in the description of this video, so go ahead and check it out. What it does is it enables you to push the possibilities and the limitations of your Airtable app so that you can do more with your data. So we've got plenty of extensions that we can bring in, but today we're specifically looking at the CSV import. So if you can't see it, you'll just want to search in the extension search bar. We'll select that and we're going to add this extension to our sales pipeline tracker, our Airtable app. So we're just gonna select add extension and then we'll choose the base that we want to bring this into. Once you've selected it, hit add extension and then wait for that extension to load within your app. Once the extension has loaded, you'll see it in your sidebar. That's where the extensions live for Airtable. From there, you'll just select it or pull over a file from your local source and then it will import that CSV file. 
Now, the difference between the CSV file extension and the standard import method is that Airtable will actually recognize your linked records, roll-up fields, and lookup fields, making life so much easier. So let's import that file and see the differences that we have. So we'll see this CSV import modal or configuration pop up appear. We've got some settings, merge with existing records. We want that selected because we don't want duplicate records. We've got first row CSV file is headers, similar columns, straightforward. Create missing select options, we'll ignore that. Then the field mappings. So it's here that you want to ensure that your columns or your items and rows within your CSV file are correctly mapped over to the Airtable field. So go through that, ensure that it is correctly mapped over, and then you want to import the records. Once you've done that, if we now take a look at our linked fields, here we can see correctly that our linked account, our linked generated document and quotes, these have rolled through. So pretty straightforward there. If you are bringing in basic data through a CSV file, you can opt for the basic table import option or base import option. However, if you want to bring in linked records, roll up fields, look up fields, and you want a bit more power over how that CSV file is actually mapped into your table, then you better opt for the CSV file import extension. Beyond that, we have one more method that we're going to look at today, and that is data fetching. Now, the last method that we want to discuss is for those of you who are consistently having to collect data and bring it into Airtable. There are better ways to do that. And this is through data fetching. You could set up a simple automation through Make, Zapier, N8N, or Pipedream in order to update your Airtable when a fill out form has been completed, a new Google Sheet row has been added, and plenty of other possibilities. But we're gonna look at actually connecting our table to a source and have it data fetch that way. So rather than importing a CSV file into a pre-existing table, we're going to select to add a new table and we're gonna select the more sources. We will select email data, but you have plenty of sources to choose from there. So once we've selected, it's time to get started. Here we can see that we've got the email address. So if we just copy that email address, then anytime that you want to bring in a CSV file, you would just connect the CSV file or attach it to an email and then send the email to that address. Let's try it. So I've gone ahead and sent the email and currently it's waiting to receive an email with attachment. And there we can see that the data has been successfully pulled through. You can edit your field names as well as the type of field and go deeper into actually how you want that data to merge with your base or your table. Anytime you need to import further CSV files, you can just rely on that email. Now, this is a preferred method of my old man and my mother. So I know there are some of you out there that would prefer this email method. However, I do need to let you know that unlike the CSV import extension, we can't use the email method or the data source method to create linked fields or roll up fields. They're just not currently offered. So if you are looking to be able to quickly bring in your data, have it connected to your other tables, well, clearly the best method for you is that CSV extension. So I'm gonna leave that in a link below. Make sure to check it out. And if this has been a helpful video for you, please let me know, leave a comment below and make suggestions on anything Airtable or no code tools that you would like to see. If you do need help in your business, then don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where a team of experts are offering a free 30 minute consultation. So book yours today.